Okay, so I'm going to show off the lighting in uh, particle system right quick. Um, I had to make some changes. Um, now that they're both delta time conscience more, um, and it should be bug free. So we have ambient light, which is brings to the whole screen. You can make it zero. No, there's no light. No! 16. Still not that much light. I can see the logo slightly. 32, you can see it more. Or 28, you basically see half of it. You can change the color to white because it would be concerned. Like, what if it looks nothing? Like nothing. So that's what it looks like with lighting. Uh, the texture. Direction light. Um, currently we have it set to uh, texture, so the texture is just not existing, so I have to fix that, of course. So we just clear the texture for now. We just get a nice little texture, or rot test rotation of it going on. Um, I may, you know, separate this menu onto the inspector if it's open. Otherwise, it would just stay in with the one editor menu because um, it's useful that way. I managed to do that the same with the animation class. It shows the sub images and then it shows you the preview being animated in the middle of the screen. Um, I'm going to probably move that to the bottom left or bottom right. Probably the bottom left or bottom right, depending on the zoom level. They'll be opposite. Uh, just with a preview. Then it goes off delta time down here. I think you got it going pretty quickly. Um, and I think I. Should have the centered circle, rectangle. There you go. Back to the the light. You have that. Then you have point light. And I made it a little cool flicker effect. If we can reduce this out to let's say 96, then make the secondary radius light intensity um, lower. So let's just make that about 64. Is that good? See radius. Oh, so both of these should be 96 I would say so it should be a little bit different you see and then you can do like um, this flicker light effect now which is um, pretty cool this flickers automatically you can choose how much milliseconds and how, how much pixel you want it to flicker by so there's that and now next we're going to go to our particle effects we have this nice little smoke effect, um, effect. Um, by Kini from Kini.nl, a great graphics artist. You know, he also makes um, Asset Forge and stuff like that. Great, great guy all around. So now we have a um, just a you know particle system based on shapes. So this is just a rectangle. You can change it out to a square. You know, same height and width basically. You can do a circle, a circle outline, which um, I do not have the pre-render call for that um, in place, but it'll be it'll be there hopefully if, um, later on. You can also do a line, which has like a cool little effect, although it kind of jitters a little bit. So um, this kind of required a little bit more precision. Yeah, chain maybe changes out to eight. Let's see what it looks like. And that's it for today. Um, I'll be moving towards getting the. The function editor. Um, this is basically good to go. This is just to export our pure code. Not too much different from the. Um, like you get the same thing. It just goes inside the same project. That in the class editor is basically they're the same thing. You know, it's just um, semantics. If you can just separate them out, um, you're coming from the JavaScript version of this. Um, the object editor will be giving. Um, a button here to just auto generate the code based off a template um, because you know sometimes you don't want to keep typing the same um, virtual functions over again so we'll just do that for you that's about it so see you guys soon let's keep working hard and get this update out a new brand new C++ engine that was made over a long period of time but it's worth it